Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, Renee, thank you so very much for joining us today to talk about toys. I'm talking with my audience, and we're live in Dallas, Texas. And I don't know if toys are on their mind, but let's excite them. What do you have? Well, this year, Lego Duplo celebrates 50 years. So Duplo bricks were originally created for toddlers to develop their motor skills with chunkier Lego bricks that were designed for their smaller hands. Now, it doesn't get any more iconic than this great Duplo fire station that invites kids to build and play with something they recognize in a safe and fun way. So there's male and female firefighters, a cute dog, and this really fun light and sound brick that adds an authentic touch to their play. So whether they're learning to stack, to build, or to role play, Duplo offers a wide variety of skill sets for every learning stage. Oh, I love those Legos. Legos are timeless. What yes. else do you have? Well, we have games. Goliath Games is known for their family skill and action games with a twist. So get ready to make a splash with Hydro Strike. In this head-to-head -head pinball game, you'll need fast fingers to shoot the ball into your opponent's goal. Now, if you score, your opponent will get sprayed in the face with water. And since the sprayer is aimed at both players, strike quick and back up or you'll get wet. And the first player <laughs> to score five times wins. I want my audience to know Renee Rice is a toy trend expert. So she's bringing us the best, the latest and greatest, and she's giving us a, peek, a sneak peek at the New York Toy Fair. What about STEM? Where does that play into this, Renee? Well, actually, STEM is being used in the schools a lot now, actually in the curriculum, but parents can teach their kids STEM at home, too. So Pi Technology introduces PyBots. This is a new coding robotic kit and it's designed for kids ages four and up. So it helps children grow, develop, and play by turning their screen time into play time. Now kids can program and code six different pre-designed PyBots or create their own robot. It can be taught to move, dance, make sounds, and light up using the free app. There's over 150 uniquely shaped, easy to grip blocks with rounded edges that will inspire kids' imagination with tangible hands-on learning and that's the most natural way for younger kids to learn and they also Renee. have 30 interactive augmented reality puzzles so they can learn even more coding concepts with visual cues. Renee I understand you just returned from the world's largest toy fair in Nuremberg Germany what are you seeing because that uh, uh, STEM uh, application is exciting what were you seeing? Well, there's so many different ways to play. There's ways to play with technology, and then there's also a way that parents want to get their kids away from technology and using their imagination. So with this Space Odyssey Playhouse by Sharing Land, kids can really explore the entire galaxy with their imagination, and there's some great wearable space gear. So it's constructed of durable cardboard, and this eight-sided play environment has sturdy space accessories that will blast kids into new realms, and there's no batteries required. So everything is made from 80% recycled materials, so that reduces the accumulation of space junk. And kids can even customize their spaceship with washable markers. And when the mission's complete, the, the foldable design breaks down in seconds to store until their next intergalactic mission. So we've got hands-on play with bricks, we've got gaming, we've got robotics, and we've got imaginative play. All of these are just examples of some of the new ways that toy manufacturers are bringing uh, new play, play experiences for kids. Oh, this year and every year I do the CES here. Oh. And it's always exciting, incredible, multiple days. 
Was that the feeling that you got at the toy fair? I know this is old hat for you, but was that the feeling you got? You know got? what? Every year I get inspired by the new innovations. I was at the CES show in, um, in Las Vegas as well, and there's tons of technology products there. But what's exciting about the big toy fair in Germany is it's about the size of 52 football fields. And here in New York, it's also a big playground for kids and the trade and the retailers to come and see the new things. And this one is about the size of 10 football fields, but it's very compact. Well, I would love to be on your Christmas list as a kid. Where can my audience find out more information about these toys if they didn't get to go to the toy fair like you did? Well, they can go to my website at ReneeRice.com. That's R-E-Y-N-E-R-I-C-E.com for more information. And I want to let you know I like your site. It's very informative. Renee Rice, thanks for being my guest on the Belder BB Show. Thank Have a great you. weekend. Always a pleasure. Next time, come and play with me. <laughs> I will.